Um, about your coaching career, um, we have seen you in the national team and uh, several other teams. Which uh, of all the, those experiences uh, you can choose? Yeah, I think my what my my proudest moment was representing my country mm -hmm. as a player or as a coach. I think as a player, you know, I I played in the Premier League. I played with some good teams. Even if I had a, my career was an elite player, which I wasn't, but if I played for Real Madrid or mm -hmm. Manchester United, or which I wasn't an elite player, um, but even if if I played for those clubs, I still wouldn't have the same feeling as when I played for Wales. When oh, yeah. I played when I played for Wales, it was it was something above everything, you know, mm. the feeling and everything. And then when I was a coach, it was the same thing. Um, so, yeah, that was that's my biggest and most enjoyable experience was with, with my country here. Yeah. And you make a fantastic... Uh... Yeah, we did okay, yeah. <laughs> we, did, we did all right, yeah. We did okay. So you've been in uh, Greece for two years? Yes. So do you know any Greek words? You understand Greek? I, I, I know some Greek words. I'm not sure I, I should say them on the camera. <laughs> no. So I know some... <laughs> I, know, I understand, a l not a lot, but I understand... Greek words, Basic. yeah, and I can pick up the sentence, but I, I, I can't converse. Mm -hmm. I get lost. You get lost. Yeah, yes. so I'm not confident to. Uh, <laughs> but I can, with, you know, I can hear people speak, and I can de detect kind of what the conversation is, because mm -hmm. I know quite a lot of words. I just can't put them together. So, the easy answer is no. I don't speak Greek. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see any similarities in football? Um, between Greece and, uh, Cyprus? and Cyprus, I think um, I do. Yeah, I think the you have a lot of passion here mm -hmm. for football. The fans have a lot of passion. In Greece, is the same. I think the the feeling with the with 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 the fans mm -hmm. in in Greece and in Cyprus, from my experience, is them is more like it's more tribal. <laughs> the the fans, it's yes. like a it's like an army. Yes, and it and is. in when I, if I've worked in England or I've worked in Spain, China, um, the atmosphere is different. Um, yeah. So you really, f I really feel, so one in our first training session here, official, mm -hmm. we did it f and the, our fans arrived at yeah. the training ground. And I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Really? <laughs> yeah. One time, I, it, was, and I, it was when I was the coach of the AL Larissa. Nice. We had the same thing. It was an open training day, and the mm -hmm. fans were there, and it was very similar with the and, and the feeling, and the passion for the team. Passion, yes. Yeah, and that that's uh, that's only it was only two times I've seen that, but with that that you could feel the emotion, mm. um, and if yes. you can if you can tap into that, and if you can if you can keep them with you, you yeah. know, it's very powerful. Of course, there's a it downside. Is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. I, like in AL, we are um, a special uh, fans. We are very. We grow up with our team in yeah. our heart. It's something that uh, mm. no other team can understand the mm. feeling and the, how uh, it's a part of our life. Yeah, it's something that we are passionate from the day one. Yes. Uh, yeah. We have all experiences, uh, huge things in the stadiums, even if the team. Uh, it's not going very well. Yes. We're still there and with passion. You will, you will have the chance to see. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. And I think f that's, the, um, that's attractive for, for a coach, any coach, if to produce a team that mm -hmm. I think represents that ideology, if you like, or that, and if they can match that same vibration. And the, the the supporters, the fans see the team playing with a real positive vibration. Mm -hmm. Then they 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 connect with that. Yes, of and course. and to create that atmosphere, I think is you know this is as a coach, you're always trying to do that. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about here the preparation. Uh, how do you uh, see the team, the players, and so far the preparation? Okay, so yeah. Um, We've been trying to build a team. Mm -hmm. um, so the last couple of seasons for for AL, they wanted to achieve more. 
So for us to do that, you know, we need to change the way we do things. Otherwise, you know, it's the, the, it's the definition of insanity is keep doing the same things and expect different results. It doesn't mm. work, you know. If you want different results, you need to do things differently. Different. So this is what we're trying to do. Uh, we're trying to build a different team mm -hmm. with a different approach, with a different um, structure, um, new players, new ideas. And of course, football is football. You know, it's, it's about winning and losing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we need to make sure that the team that we're, we're trying to put together to produce, um, we're going to be very competitive in this league. Everyone I speak to, connected to, to the club, they always talk about top six, mm -hmm. finishing top half. And I never say that to the, to the players. I just, we've got a pre-season to prepare for the first game. And the first game is the most important game. And we don't look beyond that. We make sure we try to get that right. And after the first game is finished, the most important game is the next game. And that would be my, that's my approach. I don't think about 10 games, 20 games. There's one game and everything we build towards that first game. Mm -hmm. And we try to get it right. But maybe we won't get it right, I don't know. But we will try everything to get that right. Performance, structure, tactics, mentality, everything right for that first game when we play on the 24th of August. Once that's finished, we see the, game. the next one. Next one. Game by game. And that's how we look at it. So to do that, we've brought in some good players. Mm -hmm. um, they've just arrived. They're trying to, f you know, along with the, with the players who stayed from last season. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm very happy with their mentality. They've showed a really good work ethic in pre-season. Um, I'm happy with the, with the Cypriot players um, because they know the league much better than me. Mm -hmm. They know the situation better than me. So they've been a big help. Yes. And in training, they've been, the mentality has been very, very good. I don't have any complaints. So we need to combine them with the guys who are coming from whatever around Europe, um, put them together and try as much as we can to get them to function um, as one team, one heartbeat, uh, and to, to represent the club with a passion or close to, because I'm not going to pretend... It's impossible if you're from outside of AL. Mm. Exactly what you said, you come up from young. This is, it's, it's in your blood. So it's, it's not true to say that I can come from Wales or someone comes from whatever around Europe and we say, now we're exactly like you. We can't, we can't say that. Yes, it's impossible. Yes. It's impossible. But what we can do is say, OK, we understand what you're looking for. We need to show mm -hmm. that we can represent this club in a good positive way that connects with, the, with all the people that are already here, that are always going to be here. Mm. Maybe in one year, two years, we won't be. You yes. were always going to be here. So whilst we're here, we need to say, okay, we, we respect that. We need to achieve, try to achieve, to put a team on the pitch that everybody can connect with, that's proud of. They're proud of the team mm -hmm. because we're representing in a good way. So that's... Whether we win or we lose, I can't promise that. All I can say is I'm trying, we are trying to get, put a team together that our supporters will look at and say, OK, no, yeah, we we're like proud. this. We like this, we're proud of this. Yes. So that's, that's the idea. Okay. Are you satisfied so far from the preparation? Yes, yeah. Um, if <laughs> so we've had three friendly games. Um, I don't like friendly games. You don't like them? I don't like them, never have liked them. Um, but you have to understand this preparation on one side and another side, you can't help it, you always want to win. Mm. Um, and when you lose, you don't like that. Yes. <laughs> but so, you know, we, we lost the last two games. But if you put things into context um, and I look at the players, and I said, no, they, they have, actually, they've done quite well, the players. Mm. Um, again, the mentality has been really good. Um, so we're on the right path. We're on the right path for sure. Um, and now some more new players have arrived this week. We expect one or two more will arrive between now and the end of, uh, of pre-season. Mm -hmm. So she's trying to get everybody 
of the same on the game. same yeah going into the first game and you know it won't be easy but yes. that's that's the task what is the uh, system that you prefer to allow no i think we, we, we play four three 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 five two three four three four two three one <laughs> just in case the the coach from the team we're playing on the 24th of august is listening <laughs> 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 no, we will we will look to play uh four three three if we can. If we can get everybody ready and I think we will, then yeah we will play four three three. Can you share with us a long term vision or goals you have uh with Isle? Of course, I think um as I just said is to produce first and foremost to um create a good team and to create a good a good connection with with this with the with the fans Some, and the fans are proud of the team that's the first step um and then if they like what they see they see a, a team that's together and trying hard then um we need to finish as high as we can mm -hmm. um which won't be easy because there's other teams with the same ideas as us that want to finish in higher than they did last season um but of course the uh, whilst I don't speak about it daily to the players about finishing in the top top six there's no, I'm not going to pretend that that's not um the thing in the back of my head which would be a really good achievement for the club and that's what the president talks about the technical director the, the yeah, directors when you know when we together we have a coffee I know that's it that's exactly what they want that's yeah. what they want and that's what I want but I don't talk about that every day to the players. I try to focus daily on the training performance, the tactical plan, uh, and like I said earlier, that first game, being ready for the first mm. game. A message for our fans. Um, I say thank you for the the welcome from everybody at the club. Um, I met a lot of you on on the, on the open day, um, and I really appreciate the respect you pay to myself and my family um so whilst I'm here I'll try to produce a good team um a team that plays with 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 some heart and passion and I hope you will be proud of the team um this season thank you very much coach my, my pleasure it's the easiest interview I've ever done <laughs> See, if they were all like this I'd do more <laughs>